What do we have here? Don't I know you from somewhere? Who wants to know? I'm Buster, one of Lee's mercenaries. And you had better be a little nicer to me, or I'll have your hide. All right. What do you want here? I know Lee. Everyone knows Lee. That doesn't mean a thing, pal. Right now, you're talking to me. So where are you headed? If you say so, I'm on my way to see the landowner. Indeed. Hmm. You don't look all that dangerous to me. I've killed a beast or two on occasion. Ha! Ha ha You probably flattened a few weevils in the fields and chased a couple of rats from their holes. We're dealing with orcs here. Well, yeah, and with those scummy city guards. <laughs> Do you mean real orcs? Those big things? I'm talking about... <sighs> Just a moment. Are you trying to pull my leg? Oh, far be that from me. You worm! You're really asking for it, huh? And come and show me what you've got, you hero! Only kidding. Yeah, right. Draw on your horns. Just get out of my sight. That's really not my problem. Tell me that isn't true. I'm not telling you anything new. Where do you think you're going? I wanted to have a look around, that's all. <laughs> There's a heap of trouble here for men like you. Are you telling me you just want to look around? Ha! So you're headed for the farm. Why else would you have trudged all the way here, hmm? So don't give me any of that bullshit, and let me search you and you can go on your way. Suit yourself. Search me then. Now then. Let's see what we have here. Ah, gold. It can be very dangerous carrying so much gold around. A lot of mercenaries are real cutthroats, not honest fellows like me. I only want 50 gold pieces from you. That's the toll here. And you only need to pay once. That's fair, isn't it? How's it going? The militia has bullied us long enough. Now that the mercenaries are on our side, they won't dare to just show up here anymore. The king may think he can get away with anything, but we're not going to take it anymore. In town, they're talking about a peasant's revolt. Nonsense. We aren't doing anything except defending what we've worked hard for. It's certainly true that the war is being fought on the backs of the peasants, but Onar is no longer prepared to just stand by and watch while the king bleeds us dry. Can I rest somewhere around here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the barn. But don't lie down in a mercenary's bed by mistake. Onar makes sure that they leave us farmers alone, but with strangers who don't belong on the farm, the mercenaries can do whatever they like. That was obvious all along. It's a bad business. I've got my own opinion about that. Oh, that's like it's... Oh. Hey, where do you think you're going? To the house, of course. Onar pays us not to let guys like you in here. I want to talk to Lee. <laughs> what do you want from him? That was obvious myself. He and I go way back. You're a pal of Lee's? 
I don't believe a word. But go on in. If he doesn't recognize you, <laughs> you'll know it. Lee's in the right wing. Don't even think about wandering around anywhere else. That doesn't surprise me. You didn't get that from me. Not for a thing or two. Who the devil let you in here? What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. What makes you think that? Gorn told me it was you who brought down the barrier. Yes, that was me, all right. I never would have thought that a man could survive something like that. What brings you here? You aren't here without a reason. No idea. You tell me. I absolutely must talk to the paladins in town. Can you help me get to them? What's your business with the paladins? That's a long story. I've got time. <sighs> Zardos sent me on a mission. He wants me to obtain a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. So you're still allied to that necromancer. I see. And the paladins have this amulet? As far as I know, yes. I can help you get to the paladins, but first you need to become one of us. How can you help me get to the paladins? Trust me, I've got a plan. I think you're the right man for it. I'll take you to the paladins, and you'll do me a favor. But first, join us. And there's more, believe me. What exactly are you doing here? Quite simple. I'm gonna see to it that we all get off this island. Onar hired us to defend his farm, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But our reward is more than just our pay. By helping the farmers, we cut the city off from its provisions. And the less the paladins have to eat, the sooner they'll listen when I finally make them an offer of peace. What is your offer going to look like? Essentially, it will be about our pardons and free passage to the mainland. You'll learn more when the time comes. Gorn told you about me? What happened to him? You remember him, don't you? Sure. He got caught by the paladins and was sent back to the Valley of Mines with a penal convoy. If the road to the Valley of Mines wasn't plastered with paladins and orcs, I'd have sent a couple of the boys already to free him. But the way things are, there's no point. Poor devil. I want to join you. I'd hope you say that. I can use every able man here. The last mercenaries I accepted have done nothing but stir up trouble. In principle, you can start right away. Well, first there's one or two things we need to get straight, but it's no big deal. What do I have to get straight before I can join you? Onar, the landowner, is the one who employs us. You can only stay on the farm with his approval. And then there's the boys. I can only accept you if a majority of the mercenaries agree that you join us. But don't go to Onar before everything is straightened out. He's a very impatient fellow. How can I convince the mercenaries to vote me in? By doing what is expected of you as a mercenary, I should say. Talk to Torloff. He's usually outside in front of the house. He'll put you to the test. If you can pass that, you should have earned a large part of the necessary respect. He'll tell you everything else you need to know. What do you know about the Ring of Water? <laughs> I might have known. You just have to mingle in everything, don't you? Come on, tell me. I'm only marginally involved in this. I know that this secret guild exists here and that the water mages are behind it. Since the fall of the barrier, I am no longer bound to the agreement I came to with the water mages back then. Of course, I still help when I can, but most of the time, I have my own problems and barely any time for other things. If you want to know more about it, you should probably talk to Kord. He's one of them, as far as I know. I'm ready to join you. Not before you've passed Tarloff's test. Everything fine with you? So, you want to join us then, hmm? Do you even have a decent weapon? No idea. 
You tell me. How did you end up with the mercenaries? I came with Silvio from the south. We belonged to an army of mercenaries which fought against the orcs. What's your opinion of Silvio? He's a dangerous fella, and many of the mercenaries who came with him this far listen to what he says. Better not pick a fight with him. What's your opinion of Lee? I think that the only thing Lee is really interested in is getting away from this island. He wants to go to the mainland. Seems to have a bone to pick with someone there. At any rate, he does a far better job than Silvio ever could. Moreover, he's a good leader. Most of the time, we can do whatever we want here. That's really not my problem. Would you mind if I joined you? I couldn't join Once you have passed the test, I shall vote for you. I'm no better off myself. What weapons do you have to offer? Only the best. Just take a look at them. Do you really believe that? I've got no time for things like that. Nothing amazes me anymore. The things I can tell you. He doesn't see that. I can't help him. And that's Nobody ever asked for my opinion. Hey, what do you want from me? I want to join the mercenaries. Oh, and why do you think I should be in favor of you being accepted here? I can't believe that. You don't have to put me to the test. Did Lee send you to me? He said you would help me. Fine, so here we go. There are two things you have to do before you can join us. First, you have to prove that you're capable of mastering the tasks that you will have to fulfill as a mercenary. I'll put you to the test. And second, you have to earn the respect of the other mercenaries. Well, how can I earn the respect of the other mercenaries? For most of them, it'll be enough if you fulfill your task and pass my test. But you'll have to find some other way of convincing some of them. Some will try and exploit your situation, and others may not like your mug. You should try to get along with as many of the boys as possible. But if nothing else helps, then you can always take part in a duel. If you win, you'll earn the respect of most of them. But watch out that you don't kill one of them by accident, because then you'll have a big problem. What are the rules for a duel? Quite simple. Both opponents have to have the opportunity to draw their weapons before the first blow. You can't just go and belt one of the men without warning. There has to be some sort of spoken challenge, an insult, or another reason to fight. None of the other men will interfere in a fight like that, unless one of the two gets killed in the duel. It was his decision everything you hear. What about you? Will you vote me in? If you can prove that you can fulfill the duties of a mercenary, yes. All that matters is strength. What are my duties as a mercenary? Onar hired us for two reasons. He wants us to keep the militia off his back, and he wants us to keep things in order on his farms. That includes collecting the rent when the small farmers won't pay. So, what'll it be? Nothing amazes That's all just gossip. Let me collect the rent. Good. Listen, the farmer Sekov hasn't paid his rent to Onar for weeks. Onar wants him to cough up 50 gold pieces. Any questions? Where is Sekov's farm? In the north of the valley. Looking from here, that's to the right at the big crossroads. If you have problems, the farmers in the fields will help you find your way around the area. That was no big deal. Can you help me improve my abilities? I could show you how to use your strength better in close combat. A lot of fighters are very weak because they don't have the technique to use their strength properly. The same is true for dexterity and ranged weapons. Same old thing all to believe anymore. He never would have thought of that himself. All that what I have is strength. So don't tell me. Hey. No idea. You tell me. How are things? Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I used to deal in swamp weed back in the colony. Remember? And what are you dealing in now? Ah, don't ask. I brought a whole package of swamp weed with me from the mining colony. Many of the mercenaries like a little smoke now and then. I've earned a small fortune on the side. But some bastard stole all the weed from my chest. I'm pretty sure it was that Bodo. He bunks in the same room as me, and he always grins at me like such an idiot. That's not what I heard. What are you going to do about the thief then? One of these days, I'll catch him puffing away on my weed.
And then I'll find a quiet spot and teach him a lesson he won't forget. If I knock him down here in the middle of the yard, the other farmers will notice, and I'll pay an arm and a leg. How come? Quite simple. We can't rough up the farmers, otherwise Lee makes us pay a heavy fine. That's the way Onar wants it. And the more witnesses there are, the more of a fuss there is. That makes things more expensive. So I'll pull the thing off nice and inconspicuously. No idea. You tell me. I want to join Lee's people. Lee's people? That's if Lee disgusting. keeps on this way, they soon won't be his anymore. Why? Lee has always been a quiet one. It was that way in the colony, too. But lately, he's overdoing it. He just wants to sit here and wait until the paladins drop dead from starvation. Silvio thinks we should clean up a bit on the small farms and outside the city. I think that would make for an excellent change. At the moment, most of us are just twiddling our thumbs here. Do you want to join up anyway? You just have to leave it. I want to become one of you no matter what. You already know that we take a vote on every new recruit. What are you hinting at? Well, I haven't had any to smoke in a long time. Bring me a few swamp weed reefers and you got my vote. You can surely scare some up someplace. About the swamp weed. Here's a few stocks for you. Oh, you are my man. You've got my vote. Show me your wares. Sure. Help yourself. I've got no time set like that. It's a bad business. He never would have thought of that himself. That was never to do that. Do you really believe that? I couldn't listen to the wrong people. It can't go on like this forever. Don't tell me you didn't know that. It can't go on like this forever. Cypher told me somebody stole a package of swamp weed from him. And? He thinks you were the one who took it. Oh, that's why the guy is always gopping at me so stupidly. I've been extra friendly to him lately because he seems to have hit a rough spot. But there was nothing I could do. I'd look at him friendly-like, and he'd stare at me like he wanted to kill me. That's all just gossip. I'm in enough trouble as it is. I can't believe that. Do you think that you are not a problem? That's nothing new. He really should have known better. I can't help him. Anything's possible for me. What are you smoking there? Wanna toke? should have known better. Sure. I could have told you. Let's that. wait and see what happens. I've got no time for things like that. Surprise me. Not bad, huh? Where did you get the stuff? I couldn't get away with that. That's all just gossip. You have to feel Nobody sorry for the poor me. guy. I have my I've sources. Things like that. Wrong people. Do you really think? Why I heard do you do it? anything besides smoke? Not at the moment. Same old thing all over again. I don't want to hear that. I want to join the mercenaries. Do you mind? Who cares? Sooner or later. Cypher told me that someone stole a package of swamp weed from him. <laughs> Would you know anything about that? No. That will never change. That doesn't surprise me. Where's the package? What do I know? You don't have to I'm tell me that. Myself. Have you ever tried shroom tobacco? Sounds interesting. Give it here. All right, here we go. Let's wait and see what happens. It was his decision off myself. Have you ever smoked that stuff yourself? Well. Things I could tell you. Nobody ever asked. Some problems solve themselves. Have you or haven't you? I've been sort of busy. Oh shit! Holy Robar! That stuff is way too harsh. Don't even try it. That's no secret. That's really not my problem. I don't want to use that. I'll knock it out of you. Relax, I'm way too stoned to fight with you. Here, first take a big toke. 
never thought of that himself. That. As I if I didn't have enough problems. I can't rely on that himself. Hey! I could get so worked up. I know who took your weed. Who? Was it that Bodo? No, one of the mercenaries did it. Dar. That bastard. Where is he? Finding him won't help you. He doesn't have the package anymore. He sold it in Carinus. Where is he? Behind the kitchen building on the corner. I'll flatten him. Nobody will touch him sooner or later. He insisted he knew better. Anything's possible. That's been known a long time. It's exactly what I said. You don't have to tell me that. Nobody Anything ever possible. asks me. I'm staying out of I it. I agree with you completely. Thanks for the gold. You hero. We're going to change that. And that's the truth. Wait a minute. He should have known better. You really gave Dar what for? Are you feeling better now? That's yeah, that felt good. Not well, to him, we'll see I the suppose. next time. The little beggar has That's no concerned. business going through my chest. Nobody's ever going to change that. Blabbermouth, you told Cypher I took his weed. Like hell will I vote for you. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. That's I nothing, though. So don't tell me that. I couldn't really get true. away with that. As if I didn't have enough problems. I'm staying out of it. That's not all kinds of rumors. That's no secret. I've gone about it differently. I have to feel sorry for sure. Wait a minute. I do not sell any weapons. Khaled does. He's in the house with Onar. What kinds of weapons do you make? Plain swords at the moment, not much else. But if I had some magic ore, I could forge weapons that are better than all comparable weapons made from regular old steel. You wouldn't happen to know where to find some around here. Besides, in the Valley of Mines, I mean. No, of course not. Are you with the farmers or the mercenaries? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I was just curious. Have you ever seen a farmer who also forges weapons? All over again. No. Then why do you ask such stupid questions? Nobody wants to know. I want to join the mercenaries. Stop blabbering, man. Go to Torloff and let him put you to the test. Can you teach me how to forge a sword? Sure. That'll cost you a bit, though. Let's say 30 gold pieces. Nothing amazes me anymore. Fine, here's 30 for you. And that was a damn good price, too. We can start as soon as you're ready. What about forging equipment? What do you need? Of course we got in the end. Hey, you! Hello, I'm new here. Don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not really in the mood for conversation. I'm totally wrecked. You're awfully busy, huh? You can say that again. Bennett makes so many weapons that I can hardly keep up with the polishing. What can you tell me about the farm? This is Onar's farm. That big building is his house. He vacated a wing for the mercenaries. We farmers have had to bunk in the barn ever since. But it's all right with me. It's good that we have people who guard the farm. The building here is the kitchen. Maybe you'll be lucky and Thecla will have something for you to eat. What about the mercenaries? Onar hired them to keep the city militia off our backs. But they also guard the farm, the sheep, and us farmers. So don't even think about stealing anything or rummaging around in somebody's chest. They're just waiting for a chance to knock you down. I could have told you that. Can I buy weapons from you? I don't have much. We take almost all the swords and axes into Onar's house. I've got no time for things like that. It can't go on like this forever. No one is allowed to hear that. 
That's what makes me believe everything you hear. Hello, pretty girl. Hmm, just where did you escape from? They say you are revolting against the king. My father has decided that it's time we defended ourselves. The militia never helped us anyway. They only came here to drag off our provisions. What kind of work is to be had here on the farm? My father pays money to all the men who help defend the farm. Are you interested? You don't look like someone who has a passion for field labor. How much does your father pay? You'd have to negotiate that with him. All I know is that each mercenary here gets paid every day. Are there any rules here that I should stick to? You don't touch anything here that isn't yours. You stay away from the areas that are none of your business. And if you must pick a fight, stick to the mercenaries. If you start a brawl with the farmers, everybody here will be against you. What's your job here? I sell the goods that we produce. If you want to buy something, just let me know. But let me warn you, I won't stand for either haggling or stealing, understood? Has anything significant happened lately? A few days ago, my father decreed that we're no longer allowed to sell anything in town. So now I'm staying here on the farm and selling my wares to visitors only. Doing all right? Hey, I know you. From the colony. What do you want here? I've come to join you. Why not? I've got nothing against it. Anyway, you freed our mind from the guards back then. But don't count on getting along with the others here so easily. A lot of newbies have come along since then. And some of the old mercenaries won't remember you. I almost didn't recognize you. You look rather haggard. When the barrier fell, I barely got away with my life. Looks like you got lucky then. Do you have anything to sell? Oh, don't ask. Bennett, one of the new guys, takes care of the weapons and armor now. In the colony, I was responsible for Lee's entire weapon store. And then along came a trained smith and pow, I'm out of a job. I desperately need a new job, even if all I do is guard the farms out there. I don't care, just as long as I'm not twiddling my thumbs here anymore. And? Found a new task yet? Not so far. Let me know if you have a job for me. Have you tried finding a job in town? In the city? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag me there. Where do you think I would want to work there as a militia soldier? I can just imagine myself in the courtier's uniform. And then that obsession with obedience. Nah, forget it. There may not be anything to do here on the farm, but at least I can do what I want. I it's all just here. gossip. They don't go on like this that. forever. How are things? What do you want from me, weenie? How's it going? That's none of your business, weakling. I'm staying out of it. I want to join the mercenaries. There's no place for wimps around here. I am strong enough. Nonsense. You couldn't even lift a decent sword like mine. You can't rely on that. I said I am strong enough. Oh, you're killing me. Want to risk a little bet? <laughs> things I can tell you. So don't tell me that. I bet I can handle your sword. Really? Hmm. How much should I relieve you of? Well, you look like a poor sucker. Let's make it 30 gold pieces. Do you even have that much? Sure. Let me see then. Here. All right, let's see how strong you are. About this strong. Looks like you got me there. I never expected that. You really don't look like you have that much strength in you. Well, I guess I just lost 30 gold pieces. Here you are. Now give me back my weapon. I used to say that myself. You can't rely on that. Here you are. Same old thing all over again. 
I want to join the mercenaries. Oh, well, you wield a decent sword. You'll learn the rest. As far as I'm concerned, you're in. Been there, done that. Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? I'm not a bad fighter, but that doesn't mean I'm a good teacher. Still, I think I can show you the basics of two-handed combat anyway. You can't rely on that. really said that. I want to improve my two-handed fighting skills. Hey, you! I've heard a thing or two. What's up? Uh, since Onar announced he was hiring mercenaries, the court's been overflowing with nothing but rogues. All the rabble who didn't have the guts to come out of the woods before are here now. The bastards really came from everywhere. The mercenaries came from everywhere? Most of them came from the penal colony. Another group of mercenaries came from the south, where they were probably hunting orcs. I bet that a few of the bandits from the mountains have shown up as well by now to get a free meal, huh? All that matters is strength. What's up? Uh, since own all the the bad. I can't tell you anything. Tell you. Just listen to him talk. I couldn't care less. You really said that. That's all just gossip. I'm not going to go on like this forever. I never knew that. I've gone about it differently. Of course we got it in the end. I'm not telling you anything. Billy R. himself was after him. I could tell you. He didn't get that for me. That will never change. He thinks it's as easy as that. Hey! What are you doing here? I'm preparing for battle. Why? Lately, the farmers have had more and more problems with field raiders. A few of them even managed to get themselves eaten. Fat Onar didn't exactly find that amusing. None of us got our pay for a week, and it was more or less my fault. Now Lee wants me to wipe out the creature's nest by myself, and the other boys have already made bets on whether I'll survive. Are you a good fighter? I'm fair with a sword, but with a bow, I'm very good. Why do you ask? Where's the nest? In the middle of the field here, in the big rock. We could attack that nest together. You want to help me? Why? I want to join you. Oh, so that's the way it is. You want to prove how good you are. All right. Let's attack the beast together. Let's attack the nest. Right now? Or do you need to equip yourself first? You could go back to the farm first. There's no time like the present. Good. Then let's see what you got. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. One less monster around. Oh, my God. 
So, this is where they drag the dead farmers. Disgusting. The filthy things should all be wiped out now. Let's go back. Nothing to be had there. Wait a minute. What about our agreement? Well, I could get you accepted, Baez, but I won't. And why not? If I tell everybody that you helped me, they'll hit me with a new assignment. You understand I don't dig that, don't you? Capiche? Well, tough luck, kid. I'm sure you'll find someone else to help you. I think your hide could do with another tanning. I don't like having my leg pulled. Don't make me cry. as fast as you can! Wait a minute. I thought you were trying to pick a fight with me. Did you change your mind? You prefer talking, right? <laughs> I think your hide could do with another tanning. You just don't get it, do you? Oh man, my head. Wait a minute. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? Tell me that. It's a bad business. I used to say that myself. I couldn't care less. 
will it ever change? And there's more, believe me. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. Nobody wants to know. He doesn't even know how to hold a sword. The things I could tell you. Yeah, he really said that. It had to happen sooner or later. I'd have gone about it differently. It was his decision, wasn't it? Hey, what do you want, you wimp? I challenge you to a duel. Aha! Uh -huh. You won't take this sitting down, huh? All right. Come here. Let him have it! Show him! Not bad. See the next time. Wait a minute. All right, all right. You're the better fighter. What do you want? I want to join the mercenaries. Anyone who can whack as hard as you shouldn't have too much trouble around here. My vote doesn't count much, since I haven't been here for long. But when Lee asks me, I'll vote for you. Lee is the leader of the mercenaries, isn't he? Right. Hey, now I remember where I know you from. You were in the colony, too. Hmm, so I was. I didn't see you when the Big Bang happened. Not for a while before that, either. I had... other problems. You've missed out on quite a lot, then. Things have changed since we were in the Slammer together. What became of the mercenaries in the colony? Once the barrier was gone, Lee let us out of the colony. He said that nothing could happen to us if we all stuck together. And he was right. It wasn't too long before we found ourselves a cozy spot right here. The landowner pays us to beat up the militia from the city, and most of us would have volunteered to do that even without pay. But Onar feeds us all, and we can bide our time until we see a good opportunity to get away from this blasted island. I want to find out more about the mercenaries in this region. I can't tell you much about this region. You'd better ask the farmers. And as for us mercenaries, we have a very simple rule. If you can stand your ground, you're in. I think you're made of the right stuff to be one of us. But you shouldn't let it get to your head that you lucked out during our last fight. There are plenty of guys on the farm who are quite a bit better than I am. Sentenza, for one. He guards the entry to the farm. Whatever you do, don't pick a fight with him. What about this Sentenza? He'll try to squeeze some gold out of you when you come to the farm. He does that to all newcomers. And if I were you, I'd pay up. That's what I did back then. And the good thing was that he voted for me afterwards. One good turn deserves another, he said. I lost all my gold in the bargain, but it wasn't much to begin with. And I was glad of it in the end. I once watched him beat up a fellow who had decided not to pay him. Thanks for the hint. Indeed. Could it be worth anything to you? Here you are. Five gold pieces. Yeah, thanks, man. Looks like I can take a few tonight after all. I won't forget this. Can you t I might well be able to give you a hint or two. I'm no better off myself. Been there, done that. Nobody will learn anything from me. That will never... I can't help it. That 
it's no secret. <laughs> 